In this video, we are going to learn how to make on-page anchors, which are also known as on-page links. Have you ever experienced a page that has a lot of text on it, and then you have to scroll for ages before finding what you are looking for? An on-page link solves this problem because, like the name suggests, it links to something on the same page and it will take the user directly to that content when they click the link. Let's put them after our links to our other pages, but before our image tag. Let's add a little space and also add two more line breaks. Next, we are going to add an A tag with an href. Let's copy that and paste it another two times for a total of three A tags. We are going to create links that take us to our education, experience, and skills sections. After a user clicks these links, it will take them to that portion of the website. Don't forget to add a line break after each of these closing A tags. Let's save and check our work. We can see that our page is displaying our education, experience, and skills links, but clicking the links won't work for two reasons. The obvious reason is that we haven't fully set up our on-page link yet, and the second, perhaps less obvious reason is that all of the text is already visible without having to scroll. Remember how a P tag will conveniently add a space above and below any text we put inside the tag? We can use this default attribute of P tags to quickly add some empty space after our skills section. Before I do that, I need to explain that we can't just add empty P tags because the browser ignores empty tags and therefore it will not display the space that we want. Once again, we must do something funky to get around this. We use what is called an entity code. The code that we will be using is ampersand NBSP with a semicolon. NBSP stands for non-breaking space. I'm going to scroll down to right after our skills section where we have the closing UL tag. I'm going to put my cursor right after this closing UL tag and hit enter once. Next, I'm going to create a P tag. Then I will put the entity code ampersand NBSP inside of it. I'm going to copy and paste my P tag like 20 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, save and let's check our page. Now when we scroll all the way down, you won't be able to see skills. Note, if you have a larger monitor, you may have to add more than 20 of these P tags. Let's go back to the code, and I am now going to show you how to make the links to link to these places. The first place that we want to add a link to is our education section. I am going to find the closest tag that is holding the text I want to link to and add an attribute called ID. In other words, we find the parent to the text we want to link and add an attribute. This happens to be an LI tag, but it can be any other tag because all tags allow the attribute ID. Okay, I'm going to add an ID attribute, remembering to let my code editor autocomplete. By this point, you should notice a pattern that all your attributes are the attribute name followed by an equal sign and an opening and closing double quote with no spaces. Inside of the ID attribute, I am going to use a descriptive abbreviation for an ID. For education, the best descriptive ID I can think of is edu. Let's scroll to the links we created at the top. Up here, where we have our unused href, I'm going to put the pound sign and then the ID I want to use, pound sign edu. Don't do this in the wrong order. The ID is a descriptive short identifier and the href has the pound sign. By the way, I happen to use three letter abbreviations, but your IDs can be anything. Just make it descriptive. Let's add some references to our href while we are up here. Pound sign exp for experiences and pound sign ski for skills. Now we have to go down and create these IDs where we want them. They must match the href references above minus the pound sign. ID equals exp and ID equals ski. Let's save and check our work. 
Now we can click on these links and it will take you directly to that section. But now that we have this long page, it might be nice to have a link that takes you back to the top. Apply what you just learned by pausing the video here and practice adding a link that takes you back to the top of your page. Don't worry about not doing it right, just take a minute to practice. Okay, I'm going to assume that you tried this for yourself or you don't want to practice. The first thing that I'm going to do is add some space to work with before our row of p tags. Next, I'm going to add an a tag. And then I'm going to give it an href attribute. Next, I'm going to put pound sign top in the double quotes. Remember that the thing you click on is the link and therefore you use an href. You use the pound sign with your href. Next, I'm going to scroll to the top of my code and add an ID somewhere at the top of my code. The best place that I can figure is to add it someplace that will always stay at the top like our link to our homepage. I'm just going to add an ID attribute and call it top. Save and check. I click on skills and it will bring me to the bottom of the page. Then I click back to the top to bring me back to the top. That is it for this video.